today we presented the 2090 guidelines for the management of patients with supraventricular tachycardia. These are the new guidelines. The old one uh, were done in 2003. So it has been for 16 years that the old guidelines have been still uh, valid for the management of patients with tachycardia. But now it came the time to renew them and to implement all the knowledge that we have taken during all these years about the management of patients with supraventricular tachycardia. Supraventricular tachycardia is one of the most uh, relevant issues that we are dealing in cardiology because there are many, many patients all over the world with this type of arrhythmias. So the guidelines are very useful to stratify which type of management, which type of treatment is better in each uh, situation. The guidelines stress a lot the role of uh, uh, catheter ablation for the curative treatment of this tachycardia. Uh, fortunately, we have the catheter ablation as a treatment that can cure the majority of these patients. So when a patient has a supraventricular tachycardia, we can decide which type of tachycardia he has, we can make the correct diagnosis, we can do an electrophysiological study to be sure that the study uh, is uh, uh, showing us the exact mechanism of the tachycardia and by using a catheter we can cure the majority of this tachycardia. So the use of catheter ablation is uh, strongly supported with the new guidelines. Also, the guidelines uh, 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 do a review of what to do in pregnant women with supraventricular tachycardia, what do we have to do in this case, which is the best therapy, just to avoid harm into the fetus or, or the mother, and which is the best therapy for them, and also in congenital uh, cardiac disease, what to do in patients after cardiac surgery or because of uh, the congenital, they have some scars in the heart and they have some different types of tachycardia, and the guidelines express exactly what to do in this case. So overall, it's a kind of uh, trying to implement all the novelties that we have learned during all these years uh, since the last uh, guidelines and how to do uh, our best therapy for our patients.